Your time, Kathleen. My name is Kathleen Rogella, and I have three sons with CFS Emmy. Every morning when I wake up my son for the last eight years, he says to me, Mom, I'm in pain. My response is, I know, buddy. That's why I'm here to bring this devastating disease to light, to put a face on this disease, to raise awareness, and to have the voices of the afflicted heard. I'm their voice today because they can't be here for themselves to share their stories of pain and alienation. I have three sons, Miles, Albert, and Bill, who are all affected with this disease. My youngest son, Miles, is 18 years old and has been sick since age 10. He doesn't go to school, he has no friends, and he is socially isolated. He lives in constant pain every day, every day. Not only is he in pain every day, but when he goes to school, he is always an outsider. Because the public does not officially recognize CFSME, the support structure and sympathy of, pe of people is not there. It's not like heart disease, which doctors and the public encounters every day. My mother, died of heart, my mother died of heart disease, and I know personally that it is a devastating condition. CFS ME is something under the radar. It's not well known. We need to get CFS, CFS ME to the level of awareness of these other diseases. As Miles reaches adulthood and attempts to assimilate into society, his struggle to be normal only gets harder. My adult son, Albert, is 26 years old, and he has been sick since the age of 17. He has been unable to finish high, he has, he, he was able to finish high school in some college, but has struggled since and is in constant pain. His sleep is poor, he has GI issues, and he is unable to sustain employment, all due to his CFS ME. Albert is a perfect example of how, without a better understanding and recognition of CFS ME, more and more people are being left behind in the shadows of our society. My oldest son, Bill, is 28 years old and has been dealing with CFSME since he was 15. Bill struggled through high school and college with little help from the administrations. He is in pain every day, yet still has managed to blend into society without being noticed as a person in constant pain or someone with CFSME. However, that's all he'll be able to do is blend in. CFSME is a lifelong illness and Bill battles life every day in pain. However, he's been lucky. He is happily married, employed full time, and just recently had a baby girl. CFSME affects real people. Miles, Albert, and Bill are just three examples. There are thousands more just like them that need help. We need support from the government to raise awareness and help find a cure. We must support effective treatments to improve the quality of life for the thousands in need. Basics re basic research is needed at the cellular level to determine the cause and treatment of these diseases. Researchers and physicians need to listen to their patients and what the disease is telling them. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you for sharing your story.